Tom Percival broke his curfew and stayed up late on Wednesday night to see The Avengers. So, Tom, what did you think? Well, I was massively excited for this film. So when Wednesday came at midnight, it was like Christmas. So excited. I tell you what, I love this film. It was perfect for me. That brilliant blend of action, comedy, even a little bit of romance that I really wasn't expecting. The film tells the story of Tony Stark, you know, Iron Man, who accidentally, as you do when you're a genius in a comic book movie, creates an artificial intelligence called Ultron that decides it could probably do a better job of saving the world than the Avengers, and then they smash into each other, essentially. So what was your favourite scene? Favourite scene has to be Iron Man versus the Hulk. It was a really, really good scene, mainly because, like I said, it was that good blend of action and comedy that Joss Whedon does so well. But for me, the real standout moment of it was so often in superhero films now, we see an awful lot of the super, I'm thinking of Man of Steel, where smash through things, things have to be bigger, explosions, please, more explosions and all that. But here, it was more about the humanity of the scene. We saw the sort of the damage these gods can do to things and saving people. And, you know, it was just a nice, warm moment in the film. Now, I know I shouldn't say this to a film buff, but I haven't actually seen any of the Marvel films. Could I watch this without seeing the previous yeah, ones? I have been pre-warned that you are a Marvel... <laughs> You've not seen many Marvel films. No, um, I think, yeah, you can. It is starting to get to the point where there is a lot of complexity between the film's characters who you might not know, because they're not really famous in terms of comic books. But I think Joss Whedon does a good job of balancing that throughout the whole film. I'll take your word for it and go and see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, characters, what was your favourite? Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye, shockingly for me, was mm -hmm. my favourite. Um, he's really, really on target in this film. Absolutely loved it. Uh, we saw more of his backstory. He's not really been given much room to breathe in the other movies because he was controlled by Loki, obviously, last time. Now, in this, we see his backstory, where he goes when he's not avenging, you know, all that. <laughs> so, yeah, he was probably the standout. Mm -hmm. Also, James Spader's Ultron himself, absolutely brilliant. I mean, we're talking the same vein as Tom Hiddleston's Loki, that sort of manic villain, you know, very glib, very funny, but also quite dark and scary. Yeah. Someone who's not in the film is Spider-Man. Did that take you yeah. by surprise, maybe? I, I tell you what, I lost a quid at the bookies because I would have <laughs> sworn that Spider-Man was going to be in this film. But no, he didn't. Marvel obviously reacquired him recently. Sony originally had the license, now he's completely gone. But he wasn't in this film, unfortunately. Okay, and in one word, how would you sum up the film? In a word, let's say. Brilliant! Awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. Fair enough. <laughs> With the one...